Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be recreating my Hulud ceremony look. I'm going to jump right into the tutorial, but if you'd like to see some more pictures, head on over to my Instagram. To start off the look, I'm going to prime my face using the Rosehip Seed Face Oil. I'll link the product down below. Then for foundation, I had a weird tan going on during this time, so I had to mix two foundations and I used my MAC Water Weight Foundation, which is too light for me, and the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation, which is too dark. So I mixed them both together to get the right shade. And then I quickly did my eyebrows off camera. I just used my NYX brow pencil and the shade espresso for the eyes we're going to first start off by priming it with a eyeshadow base you can use any of your choice just blend it out and then what i like to do is i like to set it with a neutral colored eyeshadow so i'm going to go into the huda beauty desert dusk palette pick up the lightest shade and blend it all over the eyelid then picking up the shade saffron which is more of like a burnt reddish shade we're gonna place this in the outer crease so try to place this as far out from your crease as possible so in the crease and then blend it outwards and bring this in as well as outwards um, because this is gonna give you a larger eyelid space to work with then picking up the dark brown shade duo uh, we're gonna place this in the outer third of the corner in a v shape it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go back in and we're gonna fix it then to clean up the lid space we're gonna go back in with that same shadow base the eyeshadow base and create a half circle and then when we apply the yellow color on top of this it's gonna make it pop a lot more to help make vibrant eyeshadows pop much more i like to use my nyx jumbo pencil in the shade milk you can use any white base for this this is going to help bring out the pigments in your colors so we're going to pick up this yellow shade it's like a bright um, yellowy orange shade perfect for this look and we're just going to pack this on top of where we applied the concealer or the eyeshadow base and you want to keep packing it on until you get the color that you're happy with um, so you should end up with something like this then we're going to go in and blend out the crease one more time and we're going to go back in with that brown shade to fix the outer corner. So you want to start blending it inwards into the yellow and if needed pick up some more of the yellow shade and blend it into the brown. Then taking a black eyeshadow, we're just going to create a small little wing in the outer corner and blend it into the brown shade. Um, it should just blend in with the brown, it shouldn't be a noticeable wing, which is why I'm using eyeshadow for it. So I finished off the other eye off camera and then I'm just going to go in with any mascara, just coat the lashes a couple of times. And for false lashes, I would recommend something a little bit more dramatic, so a little spiky, a little wispy. To highlight, conceal, and contour, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And I'm just applying this in the normal areas where you would highlight, blending it out with a damp beauty sponge. And to set the areas, I'm going to be using my Milk Makeup Loose Translucent Powder. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bake it, I'm just going to press the powder into the skin. This is going to help set the concealer a lot better. To contour, I'm using my favorite LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. To set the contoured areas, I'm going to be using a bronzer. And the reason I'm using a bronzer is because I did want more of a glowy, bronzy look. To sharpen up the contour a little bit more, what I like to do is take the setting powder on a beauty sponge and just follow that contour line just to clean up the edges and sharpen it up a little bit. And then I also realized I forgot to blend out my nose contour, so went ahead and blended that out. 
To set my entire face, I'm going in with my all-time favorite MAC Studio Finish Powder in MC42. We're going to lightly buff this all over the face, just setting all of the foundation and concealer and blending everything together. Going back to the eyes, we're going to line the bottom lash with the same eyeshadow we used in the crease and this is going to help pull the eye makeup look together. So you want to bring this in towards um, the inner corner of your eye, not completely but two thirds of the way in. And to tight line, I'm using the same jumbo pencil by NYX. Um, using a white liner will actually help your eyes pop and appear more bigger. For blush, I'm using the Milk Makeup Lip and Chic Cream Blush and we're going to blend this upwards into the contour. And for highlight, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Gold. So we're going to apply this to the tops of the cheekbones, tip of the nose, and we're also going to use this to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. So for lipstick, originally at my holod ceremony, I did use a deep purple reddish color that matched the border of my sari, but for this look, I wanted something a little more neutral. So I first went in with MAC Strip Down, um, but it was too light, so I went back in with the NYX Espresso Lip Liner, and then for lipstick, I used MAC Whirl, and to give it a little bit more of a neutral tone, I went in with my Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick just in the centers of the lip. You can use any lipstick of your choice, I think either a neutral or a dark lip would look great with this look and this is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye I'm